welcome back, Achievers, to your Easy Achievers Gaming Podcast for the week of October 30th. Ooh, spooky! I'm one of your spooky hosts, yeah, Eli. Yeah. <laughs> Sitting across from me is the vampiric being himself, Alex. Yeah, blah, blah. Yeah, blah. Yeah, I, you know, I, I, I wonder how that started. So that actually started with um, the original Dracula movies. Uh, I Boris Karloff, know. I believe was his name. Um, let me do a quick Google to make sure. I don't want to be okay, incorrect. You're just, you're just full of facts because I didn't even think you'd answer this. <laughs> but he, he was Dracula for years um but i th- i do think I, I have this wrong i'm sorry i'm i'm getting two people mixed up so boris karloff is frankenstein so he is okay. when you think of frankenstein he's frankenstein i'm thinking of um uh is it christopher lee mm. i don't remember i can look it up i think it's i think christopher lee is dracula is who you think okay. of. Okay. I didn't know Christopher Lee did a Dracula. He did. Yeah. He yeah, did. yeah. He was Dracula in the Hammer films. Yeah. He is he is who you think of when you you know, bleh and in and, and the in the in the big cape and the seething yeah. overcoat over the eyes. Cause of course Dracula was a book originally and they made it into a feature film by the Hammer series that created the original universal monsters being dracula frankenstein uh um uh uh, werewolf i i believe the popular one was american werewolf or something like that or and then invisible man i think was one of them too but yeah yeah I, i i know all this from research and very and i love Cinemassacre, uh, which is AVGN, Angry Video Game Nerd, if you guys ever heard that. I've watched all of his shit, and it is fascinating from the, the years of, like, the 50 to 70s in horror film. Mm-hmm. Um, that and Godzilla. Th- those are, like, two things that, like, I don't really watch, but I know a shit ton about for zero reason. Yeah. But, Alex... That's enough of my gushing over how much I know about these horror movies. I want to talk about the Easy Achievers Gaming Podcast. Yes, yes, yes. The Easy Achievers Gaming Podcast comes to you every single Friday from a podcast service or YouTube of your choice. Of course, YouTube.com slash Easy Achievers gives it us straight to your ear holes. You can then like, comment, subscribe, or share with a friend. If you like us even more than that, then you can, of course... Head over to patreon.com slash easy achievers. You give us a dollar that, of course, unlocks a bunch of benefits, including but not limited to posting on patreon.com slash easy achievers. Straight up DMing us. That's right. You can slide into our DMs for only a dollar. It's pretty cheap, I'd say. And you can give us questions, comments, concerns, thoughts, and or beautiful ideas straight to this show. And we may read your questions on air. Speaking of questions, Alex, I have one question for you. Before I get into the usual question, I have a fun question. Who would win in a fight? A gorilla? Uh Or a bear? Explain. A a gorilla or a bear? Yes. Now, if we have to get into semantics, I will say a silverback gorilla Uh versus a grizzly bear. Your thoughts. Mm. I'm going to bring up some facts for you to paint a scene, okay? I see. I, it, it, you put you put this out there, and yeah. I, all I can think about is that old show Face Off that they get Oh, animals, Alex, yes. And they make the animal yes. for it, and then they That was make dope, wasn't it? it? It was like a Deadliest Warrior, but for animals. Yeah. We got, someone's got to... Well, I was about to say someone's got to bring Deadliest Warrior back. It is kind of still happening with um, Death Battle. You ever watch Death Battle, Alex? I love those. Okay, so. Hmm. I'm going to go with a gorilla. Oh, so, okay, with no facts, gorilla. So, I'm going to read some facts, and maybe you'll change your mind. So, of course, gorilla is ginormous. A weight of 150 pounds to 250 pounds if it's a female. 
and we're talking male here specifically. So that can range from anywhere between 300 to 400 pounds in a gorilla. And now that is, of course, a lot of that is giant, enormous muscles, <laughs> which is pretty incredible. Um, they support the weight on their fists. I didn't know that. I knew they walked up with their fists, but I didn't know they supported the majority yeah, of their yeah. weight on their wrists. They, so they do knuckle walk is what it's called. And then we can, of course, go to the grizzly bear for their weight. So 287 pounds, 441 pounds for a female. Or, on average, 500 pounds for the coastal area population, what it says. Or, three. so 400 to 800 pounds for a male. Damn. 1,200 pounds for the Alaskan population, I'm assuming, because they have to eat so much fat and get huge so they don't die of hypothermia so these things can get up to 800 pounds (laughs) oh my god now of course i say with the grizzly bear you have the ultimate tool of a thumb i feel like that can't be overstated he has a pendable yeah did i say bear i apologize i I meant a gorilla of course so he has opposable thumbs he has hands but a grizzly bear has like kitchen knives awesome. attached to his fucking hand. Yeah. So I so we're getting into an interesting territory of like what's going to what's going to up to a punch or a stab, right? Or I would say a slash. Grizzlies aren't really stabbing now, you, I guess. You ask me which one's more more versatile? Like which one can move quicker? I feel like a gorilla I, can move quicker and they can climb. That's true. You, they can get the height the advantage bear, if they need I mean, to. Some some bears can climb. I've seen uh, when I used to watch Discovery Channel. Yeah, I, there is, they, they do climb. climb. They do climb often. I'd say too. Yeah, and they do fucking stand so tall. They yes, they can stand they up too and line. slash at the face. I feel like I feel like if they get one good slash on an eye, it's over. It's it, it's over. Now I am trying it, to it, see. It is hard. I could definitely see it. It is hard. I don't think this is an easy choice. Now, I'm trying to find where... How fast can these guys go? Unfortunately, this isn't built like a fighting cert, so they don't really... They're giving me a straight-up facts, not really... Not really, um... What it, what it is. Yeah, I'm not really seeing this. I'm not really seeing how strong these are. But, I mean, I've heard they, they can go pretty quickly but not fast obviously the bigger they are i assume the less speed they can gain right Mm -hmm. now when we think of when we think of gorillas yeah do we think of just normal gorillas or do we think of king kong right off the bat (laughs) no i think we're being like realistic i would say like a i'm saying do you think the gorilla when they when they fight they fight like king kong would like do you oh with like punching yeah do you remember the the jack black king kong movie where like he's fighting yes. dinosaurs and stuff like, yeah yeah he he, like, he, gra- like, he wraps he, around grabs those yes but what oh my i remember watching that as a kid be like oh my god that was like the <laughs> first time i've ever seen something like that and that was like do you think that's what actually what they could do like they like that's how they would fight no because it didn't seem very practical i don't think the animal goes okay i'm gonna put my hand in its mouth I feel like that's style points. I don't think they're really going for that. Yeah. I don't think they're. I, mean, I don't think they're like. Oh, I'm gonna kill this thing by grabbing its head and no. detaching it from its no, skull. No. I think they're just gonna beat it to an oblivion. Yeah. No. If it's laying down, they'll be. It, it'll. They'll do kind of like a wreck of Ralph smash. They'll keep just pulverizing. Yeah. Them. Yeah. They're. They're definitely going for the face and nose area. Mm. I do think Gorilla has it because of the reach. I feel like a reach is very important here. But gorillas coming out pretty safe. I think it's gonna get fucked up. Now, these gorillas are sorry. These um, bears are very heavy, so it's gonna take a lot to knock this thing out. Probably. It will. It it, it will. But it depends on which one has more stamina. Like I said, uh, because monkeys or excuse me, gorillas are are so used to technically running on their hands and mm-hmm. climbing. They I feel like they have more stamina than bears do. Yeah. So I think he can just outlast them. Like the bears is gonna start getting like getting like kind of like tired, and then he can just take them out. I uh, yeah I I, I I I would be interested to see the battle of attrition, where like the bear is like I got this. I tar- I tire the bear out, and then I go in for the kill, 
yeah. <laughs> I think we're giving these things pretty a lot of credit, but that would be interesting. <laughs> really being like, all right, tiring him out, and then he goes in like a boxer and just bam, bam, does a couple jabs and, and knocks him out. What do you think in the comments so, below? Who wins, gorilla or a so uh, sorry, a silverback gorilla or a grizzly bear? Hmm. All right, moving on. Alex, to what a, the question that the audience probably actually wants to know about, mm. what have you been playing? Mm. I haven't been able to get on it much, but like, I started it, and I am enjoying it. I have been playing some Watch Dogs Legion. Watch Dogs Legion. Now, I have also played Watch Dogs Legion. I'm going to say my piece first because pro it's probably quicker than yours. Yeah. I played 30 minutes, I played the opening, and I'm at the very beginning of the game. So far, I have the de like the shallowest of shallow thoughts. It seems like exactly what you think it is, um, and maybe I can get into that a little deeper after what Alex goes to but it seems like it is Watch Dogs, and if you want Watch Dogs, great. If you don't, do not buy this game. Go ahead. Yeah, no, it definitely, it, think about if Watch Dogs 2 more futuristic but uh your age it's i feel like it's more it's it's more free to be honest i feel like because i feel like i'm, I'm finding myself hacking into a lot of more places like freely like, yeah like um so like i'm in there, there's some puzzles and things like that but like if i'm like if there's like a big red zone i go i can go up to it I can find like where the switch is to turn off the uh, like the where the door is and it's okay it's off now I now I'm walking in and I just gotta sneak my way mm -hmm. so it it's it seems like it's more I'm just like I'm I'm it's it's easier to get into those areas like if I remember in Watch Dogs either one or two I can't remember there was one there was some some like little areas man it would take forever for me to get to, in, like to figure out how to get in. Yeah, I see. I see what you mean. I, I um, how how deep do you? If you had to give a number, an hour, two hours, three, four. I am maybe two to three, maybe three hours. Okay, three hours. So again, these are shallow thoughts. We'll be we'll give you a much deeper dive in a review and progress video. We'll probably put up um, yeah, in I've middle of the next week. About two to three people, not including the DLC that you get, because you get about like three people already mm, interesting so i have six so f six people so far okay okay do you like that like is that cool I, or are you I like do, i am enjoying it because um like like what i had said earlier i was trying to do something i land i i uh i didn't th i didn't think it fully through and uh my character was about to get arrested so i did the whole dashboard thing and went back to make sure my guy was safe but then right after i came back it's like oh you can recruit this guy this guy will help you get pe your uh, your people out of jail and i'm like oh well i wish i had him to begin with so i went ahead and recruited him so now i gotta do a recruitment mission for him okay okay so it's, it's interesting i i do like i want to see how many people i can get or i, I hope it doesn't get to where like it's the missions get very like repetitive to like each person has yeah. those, like 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 a uh, recruitment mission it's not like um it's not the same thing over and over again so far it hasn't and i've been fine with it my greatest fear and biggest hope are the exact same thing i will exp i will explain what that means every character is recruitable which is yeah. very cool on the downside is every character is recruitable <laughs> so what i mean by that is it doesn't seem like anyone looks incredibly polished and it doesn't look or feel so far mm -hmm. good i love the idea that i can walk up somebody and be like hey you're in my elite squadron of people everyday person that's a cool story i i feel like that invigorates thought um i love writing stories and i do in my free time and the idea of this thing where you can walk up to a regular person and the story is you it's it's about you it's about the person that's playing the game it, it can be you that that is this person that joins dead sec and helps destroy this crazy 
corporation called Albion that's overtaking it, essentially, essentially the country at this point. Uh, it's an incredible story setup. Maybe, maybe, hopefully, I don't notice how shallow that means for the characters, though. Hopefully there is something that keeps me attached to whoever I'm playing as, other than the fact this is just some dude or lady or person. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. That's no. my biggest fear is I'm I pick a person mm -hmm. and then they have a cool stat and then I have another person with a cool stat. They have a name and they kind of talk, but you can tell it's not them talking, it's this generic line. That's what I'm afraid of. And I'm thing, and actually um the first couple people that I had, they actually had their own lines. Like it's not just generic lines, they're actually like in the cutscene talking. Right, yeah, um, yeah. Really I, I I know they're talking, but I'm saying like, am I going to be able to tell that line is could be said a thousand times by anybody, or do I feel like this person has an actual way of speaking and talking mm -hmm. that's going to differentiate between anyone else? So far, I the per first person I picked is identifiable. He reminds me of uh, you told me the name, Alex Ex Exy from. Kingsman? Z from Kingsman. Yeah. yeah. He reminds me a lot of that, which is cool. That's good. I have an identifiable factor about him. That's impressive seeing that everyone is procedurally generated very quickly. Mm -hmm. So that, that's good. I, I hope that keeps happening. I'm just hoping that I don't get to the point where I'm like, this chick has said this line eight different times, <laughs> or I've heard this line from this person before, or I heard this line but not from this person. That's going to be even worse when I hear the same line before. Uh, that's going to like break the immersion. And I am excited to play more. I hope I don't sound too negative here because I haven't played the game yet. <laughs> it's, no, I'm just, no, I have I've so many trepidations about the game. I've definitely been going around, uh, like, I haven't done too much story because I've just been wanting to explore the world. I definitely love London. Like it's so cool. Um, I, I like the, I like the change because we're always like with the last two Watchdog games we've been in the U.S. With this one, we're like you know we're some we're overseas, and I like the the change. And you can see how um, different it is with like the vehicles. Uh, you know, um, the people, how they dress and how they act. And it's, it's all pretty cool. I'm excited. I'm excited to play more. We will, we'll, of course, get back to you with a Watch Dogs review and spoiler cast if we beat it. I'm going to try we'll, to beat it before Assassin's Creed. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that gives you like two weeks. I think we can knock this out pretty quickly. Yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm, 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 uh, uh, um, excuse my language, but I'm going balls deep. Oh, damn. Um, on that note, moving on, Microsoft loses another director. This came from a in Bloomberg. This came from Bloomberg straight off the press a few days ago. Chris Lee, top director, former at 343, has left the project recently. He has been, uh, he was recently sidelined by Joe Stanton, which is a veteran Halo man. Um, we covered this, I want to say, two weeks ago. On the show of him being a century replaced before being replaced. Um, Lee has been with 343 since 2008, a year after its founding, overseeing the Halo series since 2016. His title has been Partner Studio Head. Chris Lee remains a Microsoft employee, and while he has stepped back from Halo Infinite right now, we appreciate all he has done for the project to date. And that is a Microsoft emailed statement. Hmm expected um you, when you bring someone else on to do someone else's job clearly you are having the other person leave um yeah. i'm pretty certain this man was told to leave the project um i doubt he did this voluntarily but maybe he did i don't know i'm just guessing because it seems like uh mr uh, staten was invited to fix the issues mm -hmm. and it seems like maybe one of the issues was chris lee himself now I don't know that, but maybe this fixes some things that are going on. I know they have someone else in, in charge of multiplayer as well. Um, that gentleman, his name is escaping me. Um, senior executive Pierre Hintz is running multiplayer. So I'll be curious to see what happens. Alex, 2021 or 2022? What do you think? 
the more and more people lose, uh, leave this project, the it, it adds a year to me. <laughs> so now it's so 2022. I think we won't see this game till holiday 2021 or the latest, maybe early 2022. I'm going to say something super lame. Hmm. Uh, I, I, we're gonna see the game when they're ready now like i don't think we ever we'll see this game it. yeah we won't see it again I'll yeah we're not gonna see this game until maybe six months before release like we, i don't think we're they're gonna talk about it they're not gonna put it in sizzle reels maybe they're gonna show this game and be like it comes out and i would be surprised if it didn't if like four months is like hey no, no, in four months it's out i mean it's it's hey it's master chief that's true they that's have, true they have to that's use true their, their, their i system. yeah I, you're right thank you for Correct me. That that's probably untrue. They'll use it in Cisrels. What I mean is, they won't be. There won't be an Xbox showcase where they're like, "All right, they now let's do, see an update of Halo." Yeah, they won't show any new content. I, yeah. honestly, I feel like until next summer. I I think I agree with that. We're gonna probably get more of these. This person leaves. This person joins. They're mm-hmm. clearly doing things there that are. If I'm. Anything, I, I think there's a lot of executives not there. happy right now. Yeah. And they're fixing issues. So I think we're just going to see people getting, a quote unquote, leaving the project, meaning they were told to leave the project, probably. Mm-hmm. Um, and we're going to see some other probably configurations. And I am excited to see the future. Hopefully it doesn't get worse. <laughs> we'll see. Keeping with Xbox, there could be a revival for 1 versus 100 for Series X and S. This is Video Game Chronicles. I'm pulling this straight from the article, uh, the article, because this is crazy. To, so I, I had to just read straight from the article. So head of Xbox, Phil Spencer, suggested that the platform holder could be working on a trivia game, quote from our past, end quote. Spencer made Carnes doing an official fan fest live stream uh, last Friday, which was intended to run alongside a special website quiz. However, technical issues ultimately meant that trivia game did not take place as planned. Quote, I just want to say when our teams are trying to do new things that we've never done before, I want to be 100% behind those things, end quote. Spencer explained on live stream, sometimes they'll turn out amazing. Sometimes they'll be good learning experiences for us. Quote, but for all the fans who have been on with us, we're going to make it good with you guys. We don't know exactly what it is yet. So thanks for hanging with us during this in our little experiment. I've never played this. Um, I did I did when it was the Xbox Live thing where you had to get on and you had to like answer questions. Really, it was like the first Battle Royale before Battle Royales, if I'm being honest with you. Kind of, right? It was one person. They would get selected to do this. They would have to go through 100 people with trivia questions. And if you won versus the 100, you got, I think, Microsoft points. Um, th- this is a long time ago. I'm pretty sure that's what it was. And you could be one of the 100 if you like signed in at a specific time and played. Yeah, yep. Very fun. Trivia was hard. I was a kid back then, but I was doing... I think I was doing good for a kid. I was... Who, what? 13, 14, maybe? maybe, maybe yeah, 13, 14 sounds right. Um, and I was... I loved it. I, was, I hope they bring this back. I love little trivia games, especially something like this. So I'm excited. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I, I really like trivia, um, like game shows and games, so I'm, I definitely want to try it out because I never actually got to play this. Moving from Xbox, moving over to Sony, this is not a story, I would say, honestly. I did want to bring it up. Uh, writers did a quick interview with, um, was this, a, I'm sorry, let me double check. Well, this was an interview, correct? Yes, this was an interview by Jim Ryan. Uh, they just had did a statement on demand is very high for PS5, which of course is. Um, and I'm just going to read a direct quote. Quote, the demand has expressed by the level of pre-orders has been very, very considerable. End quote, Ryan told writers. Sony sold more than 100 million PS4 units and aims to persuade its user base to upgrade the new device to play titles like Spider-Man Miles Morales with enhanced graphics. Blah, blah, blah. I just wanted to bring up that so- someone from Sony came out and actually said something about Eunice and saying, hey, it's it's huge. I wish he went on to be like, hey, we'll get more to you guys or something. But they haven't said anything. Um, but I just wanted to bring that up because it was interesting. Hmm. Now, this is a complicated one, but I'll give it to you. PlayStation Plus Collections details revealed and your November PlayStation Plus games is a PlayStation blog headline. I will give you the sweet bits now. So Shadow of War and Hollow Knight Void Heart Edition 
is on PlayStation Plus for November. So uh, that's November 3rd from the 30th. You will have access to those two games. The big thing about this month's November's, or sorry, uh, November's things is they uh, revealed that for PS5 owners, you will be able to redeem for bug snacks. So you will be getting bug snacks as part of a PS Plus games day of launch. So beginning November 12th, you'll be able to download bug snacks to your PS5 for free if you have PlayStation Plus. Damn, I guess I'll try it out. That is very cool. Yeah. Um, I keep saying this. They need to do something about Game Pass. So this is the closest they can do. Hey, good for you. Now, if you read between some of the lines here, you can kind of delve what they're doing. So Bug Snacks is available from November to, I want to say, January or the beginning January. of February. or uh, uh, Monday, January 4th. Yes, January 4th. Uh, so that's three months. I want to say most likely... Every three months, I think PS5 is getting a game. I I think they're going to start doing that. So every three months, I think PS5 will get a plus game. Until eventually, like, there's enough games that they can start doing plus for just PS5. Mm -hmm. Now, they did add some PlayStation Plus things to the additions. I'm just going to read you the new additions. So, Crash Insane Trilogy... Cod Black Ops 3 Zombie Chronicles Edition and the Final Fantasy 15 that was in PS Plus Collection is now the Royal Edition. So you have extra things there. Good on Sony. Um, that uh, I like what they're doing. Don't mess it up. I like the PS Plus Collection. I think, I'll correct me if I'm wrong here. I think they're going to keep updating this, maybe. I, they're still not clear about that anywhere. Yeah, I, I assume that they will. Rest of this. Yeah, yeah. They don't say anything about if this is continuing or not. So I'm assuming this just happens for a... I'm, I'm, I'm sure they know when this goes away. But I'm assuming maybe a year, maybe two years. I don't know. And I... I is this a thing you just claim and you own it forever? I think as long as you have PlayStation Plus, you'll be able to get it. Okay, but like, let's say I have the collection. I go, I click them. Do I own them or do I own them in, until they're gone from the collection? I, th- I think you own them as long as, uh, like, like normal. Like, as long as you have PlayStation Plus. If you, if you run out of PlayStation Plus, you won't be able to play it. But I think it's permanent. I don't think, I don't think it's, uh, like... What, what was it like it didn't switch to that like you can play that one game but then at the end of the month it's just gonna go away yes yeah no i don't think i don't think i don't think it, once they go away i don't think you'll lose them as long as you redeem it i think you're fine mm. now i will say this i i almost forgot to bring this up destruction all stars was delayed but it is now coming to playstation plus in february um, they did do a quick statement about this. They are they delayed it, but will have a PlayStation Plus on February, and they will be refunding everyone who bought the game. So they will there's refund game, you. There's your game for the for the for the sec- or that second time. Yeah. So this that will probably be the next three months, and then so on and so forth every three months, is what I assume. So boom, we basically will get a free PS5 game every three months, which is pretty cool. Pretty cool. And another PlayStation thing, Alex. You did this yourself. You can now request a free PlayStation camera adapter to use on your PSVR on PS5. Ensure that you have your serial number ready for your VR module to get the adapter. Still so pisses me off, but I did it anyway. Yeah, Alex, you complain, but you're going to do it anyway. So. Uh, yeah, I did it. And, and they could have made you pay for it. No, I know. I mean, at least they... they, they... If they would have, oh, if they would have made me pay for it, I've been mean, like. Oh, I kind of wish they did just to piss you Xbox off. Xbox didn't let me make, didn't make me pay for it. <laughs> and then they would have been like, "Well, oh well." Yep. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm I. Glad they, I'm glad they didn't. I, I, <laughs> one of my favorite achiever moments is us finding out live that the new camera doesn't support VR. So if you didn't catch that, I, Alex, that was two weeks ago, correct? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was two weeks ago. Go and just click through until you find us figuring out live that you can't use it. It was fucking hilarious. It was so funny. I love that. I love that. This is such a whatever thing to me 
because I already got mad and and I'm now over it. So whatever, cool. Camera adapter for VR, whatever. Moving on to the sad news for the week, because we have to have one every every week. Uh, Cyberpunk has been delayed. That's right, it has been delayed. Cyberpunk 2077 has been delayed past its intended release date. This is a statement I'm just going to read straight from CD Projekt Red themselves. Hey everyone, today we've decided to move the release date of Cyberpunk 2077 by 21 days. The new release date is December 10th. Most likely, there are many emotions and questions in your heads, so first and foremost, please accept our humblest apologies. The biggest challenge for us right now is shipping the game on current, next-gen, and PC at the same time, which requires us to prepare and test nine versions of it, Xbox One, Xbox One X, compatible on Xbox Series X and X, PS4, PS4 Pro, compatibility on PS5, PC, Stadia, while working from home. Since Cyberpunk 2077 evolved towards almost being a next-gen title somewhere along the way, we need to make sure everything works well and every version runs smoothly. We're aware it may seem unrealistic when someone says that 21 days can make any difference in such a massive, complex game, but they really do. Some of you might also be wondering that what these words mean in light of us saying we achieved Gold Master some time ago. Passing certification, or going gold, in quotes, means the game is ready can be completed and has all content in it but it doesn't mean we stopped working on it raising the quality bar on the contrary this is a time where many improvements are being made which will then be distributed via a day zero patch this is a time period we undercalculated. we feel we have an amazing game on our hands and are willing to make every decision even the hardest ones if it ultimately leads to getting you a video game you'll fall in love with this is adam badowski and Badowski and Marcin Iwiniski. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm pushing your name, Marcin. Alex, hmm. lots of emotions for me. I'm sure um, you're going through a lot of things too. We're going to say the super lame thing, cool, delay it, whatever. Moving on from that. Honestly, I that's my honest, I, that's my honest opinion on it. I don't even have that many uh, emotions for it. Same thing, honestly. I just give me time with Assassin's uh, Creed. I'm okay. I just, I really, I don't care. I know a lot of people do care. I just kind of don't. I understand the issues they're having with Xbox One and One A. Blah blah. They have nine different platforms they have to worry about. Yeah, I get that. That's probably a bitch. Um, yeah. so yeah, I I did read that the uh in a, during a earnings call. They specifically said that the PC version is complete. The version that's holding them back is last gen. Mm. So they had to push it back. So their PC version is done. Last gen, I say last gen, current gen, I guess right now still, even though we only have about a week and a half of saying that. But yeah, Damn. current current gen as of we know it right now, is holding back cyberpunk so they are having to push it to optimize it to those platforms i will be very alex i want you to picture something in your head could you imagine grabbing cyberpunk 2077 and sliding it in to an og 2013 model ps4 xbox one i can't see that running at all look i'm surprised that the og xbox that i gave my little brother is still running uh, mind you, it can't run Fortnite for some reason. He tries to download it and play it, and ju- it just crashes. And so he's like, he can't even play it. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm and now, now get, now grab a copy of Cyberpunk and put it in there. Like that just doesn't compete with me. Like I that, I can't imagine that running at all. Look, if if Call of Duty is over a hundred to two hundred gigs now, I can't imagine what this is gonna be. <laughs> I mean, like after like every update. I don't know. I, I remember that when they re- released it, it was 80-something gigs, I think. So it will probably easily eclipse 100. It's going to go up because Red Dead was a lot, too. Yeah. Red Dead was a lot as well. Is that all you have for the delay, Alex? Yeah. I mean, I, I'm excited to play it. I mean, uh, I Me too. Uh, I, 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 I would probably be more upset if we didn't have a 1,000 games. No, yeah, we definitely we have so much. I honestly, I'll I'll be okay. Alex, November tenth, Destiny, Assassin's Creed. Assassin's Creed. 
<laughs> okay, I respect what you're doing. And I wasn't going there, but uh, you all know it's Assassin's Creed for him. So, Assassin's Creed Destiny. Two days later, we have Spider-Man, Miles Morales. Two days later. And Demon and Souls. <laughs> Sorry, of course. And but who could forget Bucksnacks? Look, you were excited for that game. Don't even. Uh, no, I am. I am. I'm. I'm not pretending like I'm going to play that anywhere near these though, because no. I got to grind for the Destiny raid first, and then I'm going to Assassins, and then we'll go to Assassins Creed, and then I will go to Spider Man. Hopefully, I can grind the first two days of having the Series X. I'll grind the s h i t out of destiny mm -hmm. and then I'm the tw gonna be so behind <laughs> yeah and then on the 12th i'm gonna switch to spider-man for ps5 mm -hmm. and then at some point i'm gonna try and get raid ready for destiny and then i'm gonna switch back to assassin spider-man and just keep flip-flopping when i'm done with the raid mm. yeah see with me i'm just gonna stick to one game because that's all my time can afford at the moment with the baby I get it, man. I get it. You're speaking to someone who doesn't have a baby, but I get it. <laughs> hey, man. It's, it's, it's only a matter of time. <laughs> speaking of Assassin's Creed, Alex, Netflix has announced Boy, that they are making an Assassin's Creed live-action series with Ubisoft's Jason Altman and Daniel Krennic as executive producers. I think it'll be good. I didn't get much else, Alex. I don't know if you've seen any more of the story, but I, I didn't see much else. But I mean, hey, that sounds pretty, pretty awesome. So far, all the anything that's been a uh, fan service for games, animes, things like that that Netflix has done has been really good. Like for example, Dragon's Dogma, awesome. I loved right. it. Right. Um. I mean, like. There's so many, there's so many things that they've Netflix has done that I'm like, oh, I didn't think they would do this, and they did. And, and like Witcher, I mean, t God, dude, that show was awesome. That show was amazing. That's probably one of my favorite shows in the last few years, mm -hmm. um, next to Watchmen. Yeah, so I definitely I think they're gonna set a bar for yeah for this. I'm excited. And I, yeah, I, I'm wondering what it's. Like, so, speaking of what you're wondering, Alex, what do you want from this? Do you want Altair, Ezio? Do you want something new, brand new, something we haven't gotten yet? Do you want some sort of Japanese Assassin's Creed? Do you just want Liberation 3? What? What? What's What's the first that comes to mind for me? Um, Ezio all day. I want to see it. I want to see beginning to end Ezio two to revelations in a netflix like season frame the, uh, I, I think that that could be a high chance that it could be it but i don't think they will the only reason because they've already had a live action Ezio thing and it was it was it was fine um but it, it, it wasn't it, it, they haven't though like i don't think they have netflix sorry ubisoft has not done this no, no, no. Ubisoft they, 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 has done they, they, shorts. They've done little uh, cartoons and things like. That. They have not done a, a partnership with a giant corporation to no, make that's a, why a I show. Think they can set the bar. So I feel. Hmm. And see, I was Ubisoft uh, working on the. Did they work together with whoever did the movie? Did were they part? Did they help with the movie that came out a couple years ago? Oh well, yeah, they had. Well, they own the IP, so someone had to have paid them to get it. Now I don't know the extent of what they worked on. They could have, they could have had a producer come by and been like, "Hey, w what's an animus?" And he explains an animus, and then that's like the day. I don't know. I I don't know that. Experience. But they had to have, at at the very least, been in talks to buy the movie right, like buy the movie rights for a movie. Yeah. So. They did let that happen. Let's not forget that. <laughs> like, they let the terrible movie be made. I've never seen it, so I guess I can't say it's terrible, but I've heard it's, awful it's, things. It's fine. It's, it, there you go. There you go. I, I put that up on the chalkboard. Another thing that, that hits Alex is, it's fine, meter. It, That's like your catchphrase. Well, it's fine. Be it's hard because it had potential. 
but it, it do you remember when the animus was a claw machine that picked them around that seemed fun mm -hmm. and it's funny because there was an etsy auditory in this movie okay yeah which i, I, I can't even remember. pretend to I care even, i don't even remember speaking of ubisoft alex mm. this is straight from the bird's mouth on ubisoft.com it is kind of confusing, so I just want to read straight from their mouth and we'll dissect this. Okay. Uplay Plus becomes Ubisoft Plus, introduces beta with Stadia and Amazon Luna. Following the announcement of Ubisoft Connect, Ubisoft's subscription service Uplay Plus has officially become Ubisoft Plus. Starting November 10th, the service will launch a multi-platform subscription model beginning with a beta on Amazon Luna and later on Stadia. Subscribers on PC will still get unlimited access to a growing library of more than 100 games for $15 per month, including premium editions and upcoming releases like Watch Dogs Legions, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, and Immortals Phoenix Rising. Once Ubisoft Plus subscribers request and receive an invitation to the Amazon Luna service and link their accounts, they have access to Ubisoft games on Luna at no additional fee beyond their original $15 subscription during the beta. By the end of the year... Subscribers will also be able to access Ubisoft games on Stadia with the same subscription. Stadia Pro will not be required, so subscribers can sign up with the free version of Stadia. Ubisoft Plus on Amazon Luna and Stadia will feature a growing library of premium editions of Ubisoft games, including Watch Dogs, Assassins, Immortals. Additional subscribers can pick up where they left off in some games, like Valhalla, across their devices whenever and wherever there are with cross-platform progression so there's a lot of pronouns in there there's a lot of adjectives so what i've gleaned from this knowledge um and what i, I didn't mean pronouns i meant proper nouns is what i meant what i gleaned from this is it looks like if you just get the subscription you can use it on either stadia or luna and if you use it on stadia you can do it for free at no additional cost and you can do it on Luna, I guess, for whatever you pay for Luna. I I still don't fully understand what Luna is. Well, they haven't explained. The oh, answer. oh, sorry. They will they will have access on at Luna at no additional fee. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, okay. So so they say they said that as well. You still I just read it and I'm confused. But yeah, that's really cool. I wanted to bring that up. That seems like a good deal because you can pick it up wherever you want. So that's kind of cool. I think they're partnering with it or stadia's trying to come back because they're seeing how not well they've been doing well yeah but this is ubisoft but i i think i see what you're saying yeah i think i think we lost alex guys oh no oh god i think what he was saying was um it's, I think Stadia probably loses something from this, but he they do gain back. Oh, you're back. Um, but they do gain something from getting someone to use the Stadia platform for Ubisoft Plus regardless. Now, Alex, what you, were what you saying before you got cut off? You did get cut off right when you were bringing up Stadia probably welcome this on their platform, is what you're saying? Oh, um, I was saying that um, because they, they haven't been doing well as they, they wanted to, this could probably uh, they're probably working with this to see if maybe this could bring them back to their their uh what's the word um they were planning on doing they, they're tr they're trying to bring people back to stadia right because yeah, so far stadia mm -hmm. yeah i don't i don't think stadia had much to do with this but i do see what you're saying yes i, I think this helps stadia tremendously if it works out correctly mm. Um, that's, what I'm saying. that's why I said it's a partnership just to see. I guess, to, to be yeah. Yeah, and it's very cool that you pay for UB Plus and you just get a free version of Lunar Estate and you just use it whenever you want. It's pretty cool. Mm. Uh, sounds cool. I don't have much to say because I haven't really tried any of these services out. So I just want to bring up that as a potential if anyone wants to try that out once those services become live. Now, I did accidentally skip something originally that I wanted to very quickly go over. When we were covering the Xbox things, I accidentally did skip this over. And this was kind of late to the uh, uh, Achiever report. I guess, I don't know. I just made that up right now. The Achiever report. So I, I put it in the wrong spot. So I want to quickly go over Todd Howard, quote, next generation is about access, end quote. So I was going to bring this up when we were talking Xbox. But if, if you're tired of 
<laughs> talking about Bethesda and Xbox. I apologize. But let's go with exactly what I want to talk about. They brought up that he would be... He can't talk too much about it. But he would be shocked if Elder Scrolls was not... Was was an Xbox exclusive? It's hard to imagine. It's hard. Thank you. That was the direct. Quote. It was. It's hard to imagine Elder Scrolls being and the, and we're getting a lot of nothing. Even Phil himself said he can't talk about this stuff because it's illegal. <laughs> so mm-hmm. uh, Phil can't tell us. Todd definitely can't tell us. So we have nothing. But Todd kind of threw hook or crook, kind of pointed out that maybe it's not so potentially they're on ps5 i don't know but i did want to bring that up because it was interesting they went into a deep dive on game is with a interview with todd howard by dame bachelor doing incredible work as always over there please go read that it's very intriguing to see in todd howard's mind after becoming a, a very rich man with this accusation so good for him be very curious what else happens i feel like it's still gonna happen i don't know man i the, every time i say it it seems like something contradicts what i just said r- regardless of which one i say so like i don't uh, i said originally that it's gonna be on ps5 but they'll have game pass for free so you feel like an idiot if you pay 70 bucks for the thing but you can just get game pass for 15 so you'll feel stupid and you'll want to buy an xbox then Phil came out and said, we don't need to sell something on a different platform to make the money back from the deal. So I'm going to keep it on Xbox. So then I go back to the other side. And then Todd comes out and says this, uh, that, 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 he, that he's ha- finds it hard to believe that, that they will be exclusive to Xbox. Ha! Ah! You know what I mean? Like, which one is it? We'll see. It Moving now. on. <laughs> Moving on. Something lighthearted to come off that very, very messed up thing. This is over on Polygon, and I thought this was just really funny. $375,000 box of Pokemon cards turns out to be fake. This is by Charlie Hall. I'm going to read this pretty verbatim because it's fucking hilarious. The Pokemon card bubble brought on by celebrities and influencers flushed with cash, hyping the market up on social media and YouTube, may be bursting. A group of personalities came together yesterday for a $375,000 deal live on YouTube, complete with a bad security guard looking on. As reported by The Guardian, the box of cards in question was a fake. No money exchange had, but everyone involved looked foolish. After simmering for months, the Pokemon market flashed into the mainstream on October 9th when rapper Logic made a record-breaking $183,000, $812 for a rare Charizard. Do you remember we covered that story, Alex, mm-hmm. um, last year? Wait, was it last year? No, no, no. It says October 9th. I f- okay. I think I'm thinking of a different situation with that. Anyways, that gave the team at Dumb Money YouTube channel, very interesting name, Dave Hansen, Chris Camillo, and Jordan McClendon an idea. The team proposed to purchase an unopened box of first edition Pokemon cards, 36 packs in all, for $375,000. A group led by Jack, Jake, quote, JB the Crypto King, end quote, Greenbaum. A cryptocurrency specul- sp- speculator? Okay. Mm-hmm. Speculator is closely associated with Logan Paul, who recently spent $200,000 on a box of Pokemon cards. Once opened and verified as authentic, the team at Dumb Money would tuck the box away for one year. Then, live on stage on Las Vegas, they plan to throw, quote, the world's largest Pokemon investor party, end quote, according to me. That's an interesting uh, sentence right there. The plan was to auction off packs individually and to donate a portion of the cards to, quote, collaborators, end quote, with all the proceeds going to charity. Quote, as long as it's non-political charity, end quote, said Camille, we will donate 100% of the money to charity. When the crab got on the box inside was an assortment of packs, not all of which were first edition and some of which had already been opened. A clear fake resale to look like the real thing. Seller Greenbaum, who had demanded he be paid in cash, said he had no idea he was in possession of a fake. Quote, that's why you buy PSA BGS graded, Granite said on Twitter, referring to a PSA authentication and grading services and Beckett grading service, which validates cards on their condition for a fee. Hmm. Alex, an interesting look on Pokemon cards and how they've evolved over the years. I can't deal with this trading card thing, man. I love it and respect it, 
it's fueled by nostalgia and i love them for it good for them for finding something they enjoy very funny that they spend a larger sum on clear fakes now they now to be fair they didn't buy it they it's said they didn't exchange it card could be more it could be worth more than my house <laughs> that's true um yeah yeah i mean a, ho- a holographic charizard like that's pretty in- insane that is 180 grand um it's a paper uh, yeah, but it's cool though. You understand. I, you I, understand. I mean, I, I understand, but I, I guess. Alex, it's I've seen the shit you buy. If you were a millionaire, you would buy some dumbass things. Mm, I don't know. I think honestly, if I, I would hate to bring up I'd the box too, situation with Call of Duty, I would hate to bring that up, Alex. Look, I would I, hate to I, bring that up, Alex. Look, if I was a millionaire, I feel like I'd be too scared to lose that money that I would have to be cautious with it. I'm going to call your wife one day, uh, live on air, and and, and, and tell her your, the things you tell me and, and just watch her explode live. <laughs> Speaking of gold, <laughs> new games of gold for November 2020 have been revealed. Aragami Shadow Edition for twenty four ninety nine available November first to the thirtieth. Swim Sanity Swim Sanity twenty four ninety nine. Why am I reading the price? Available November sixteenth to December fifteenth. Full Spectrum Wario November November first to fifteenth. Lego Indiana Jones available November sixteenth to the thirtieth. Let's read some descriptions, shall we? Aragami Shadow Edition. Embark on a dark journey full of blood and secrets. Including both the original game and its prequel, Nightfall plays as the undead assassin. With the power to control the shadows, dispatch your enemies, utilizing a wide array of powers in a single, in the solo campaign, or team up with a friend in cross-platform online multiplayer as you put your stealth abilities to a tip. Alex, what's Swim Sanity? Unleash the insanity. Team up with four friends and deploy a variety of unique power-ups and weapons. Or battle out against each other to be the last MOOBA standing? With over 150 challenges across 8 gaming modes, the intensity doesn't let up in this action-packed underwater co-op shooter. What? Action-packed underwater co-op shooter. I'm looking this up. And uh, or Aragami is actually pretty fun. I didn't know there was a co-op thing, so I have, I have to try that. Yeah, I've seen the, the cover art for it a million times. I played Origami on PlayStation, and I actually got halfway through the game, but I, I never went back to it. This seems like one of those... Uh... What, Swim Sanity? Or... Uh, Swim Sanity. This, this seems like one of those... Oh, God, why am I so bad at this? Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Hold on. Okay, hold on. I got, I got it. 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 Now, I, wanna, I, wanna, I want the audience to see it now. So if you give me a second, Alex, if you fill some time, because I know you're really good at that. Do oh, yeah, the, totally. Yeah, do that for me. Okay, so let's see. I'm wasting time. <laughs> this isn't how you fill time. Talk to them, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, uh, but we should... Um... No, I see what Swim Sanity is. Uh, like, as, as you pull it's it like up, a co-op I'm shooter. To exp- yeah, it is like a co-op shooter. It's Honestly, to me, it looks a lot like a 2D Mega Man underwater. I mean, guess to Mega Man is 2D, but... Um, <laughs> it's like a 2D Mega Man that's already 2D. Yeah, no, I, I don't know. It looks interesting, I guess. Why did it... They look a little bit like little... Like Mega Man's kind of in the... Like in Frieza at the same time. Okay. I don't know why I could think of Frieza. All right, we're watching the trailer right now with the Achievers. And okay. this, this looks like one of those co-op things that you watch on a YouTube channel that like you have like you have the people you watch for YouTube and you watch this you watch them play this while they're going, Oh my god, ah 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 Yeah. That will be us once we get a gaming card. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, this if I had to guess what it was, this is what it was. This is what I thought of. Like I'm not surprised at all. Alright, that's an, that's enough of this, I think. <laughs> That's enough of that. That is enough of that. Swim Sanity, if you want it. Let me get you back to that screen, because I know you love staring at our logo. Full Spectrum Warrior. Squad up and get ready for deployment in this classic Xbox title. What began as a training aid for the U.S. Army ended up as realistic infantry-level urban warfare simula- s- simulator. 
Command Alpha and Bravo squads using authentic inventory protocols in an urban environment beset with danger around every corner. It's an original Xbox game, and it's like it's it looks like around the time as um remember those games um Medal of Honor and Brother in Arms. And of all course. Those? Yeah, it's like it's like that type. That's what I figured. I was picturing Medal of Honor, honestly. Alex, what's Lego Indiana Jones? Indy, put on your fedora, grab your whip, and search for a fortune of glory. The original adventures take the fun and creative construction of Lego and combines it with the nonstop action of the classic films. Build, battle, and brawl your way through all your favorite cinematic moments in the tongue-in-cheek Lego style. I love the Lego games. I miss them. I need to go back and play some of them. I've been trying to keep the Lego hype in, so I'll be excited for Skywalker Saga. That's how I. That's why I'm not playing any of them. Because yeah. I, I tired myself out because we, oh, used, to yeah. thousand we all used to them. thousand all of them. Everything. Yep. And, and w- the most recent ones being like Lego Incredibles, Marvel. I stopped playing. Them. I didn't even. I didn't even finish Lego Incredibles. Yeah, I didn't finish any of them. So it's been a long time since I played them. But they are so good games. I just played so many. I got a couple of date updates for you, Alex. Would you like to hear them? Sure. Good. Bravely Default 2 has been delayed to February 26, 2021. Now, these are all coming from a Nintendo Direct Mini that was shown off. This was all third-party things, I believe. No. No, this was not all... Wait, yes. They were all third-party things. Make up your mind. I don't know. Hitman 3 Cloud version coming to Switch. Yes. Control Ultimate Edition cloud version available now for nintendo switch now you might be asking what yes they're utilizing the cloud to bring you more strenuous games that otherwise could not be played on a nintendo switch hitman 3 is coming once that launches control ultimate edition is available now you can play control ultimate on your nintendo switch as we speak incredible yes very cool i've heard it runs i heard it runs great does that mean you're streaming the game? Yes. Interesting. Yeah. Straight from the cloud. Weird. You see that? Alex, look up for me. See that cloud right there? That's where it's coming from. That's that's the control cloud. And then in just a little bit to the left, that's Hitman 3. It's not done yet, so it looks a little small. But it's going to be that. You too can look up into the sky and see the clouds that are Control Ultimate Edition and Hitman 3. Right now, take a picture of, of, of the Hitman 3 cloud and Control Ultimate and, and tweet at EVM9000, the picture. I thought you were about to say, everybody look up and just take a picture of what you see. And I'll, I'll like a picture a bunch of people sending pictures of their ceiling. That's a lot better. Look up, take a picture, tweet at EVM9000 and at Cravy Subscatter, whatever it is. Instagram it. I don't care. Do something. Tweet, tag us in it and just send it, whatever it is. Look up, take a picture of it. Dude, I hope I get a pic. <laughs> that's too crass. I can't say that. No More <laughs> Heroes 1 and 2 coming to Nintendo Switch available later today um that sorry i'm reading this verbatim the no more heroes one and two is now available on your nintendo switch you can go play no more heroes one and two i kind of want to go play them because i heard they're very good games interesting so i may get this and then no more heroes 3 is launching in 2021 what i want what i want to hear is coming right up hyrule warriors age of calamity demo is available right now saves do carry over to the full game alex i am excited for hyrule warriors age calamity i cannot wait for this game i'm always like those games uh yes i did like dynasty warriors i haven't played them in years so i'm not gonna pretend like i know them now but the the hyrule warrior game being around the lore of breath of the wild got me interested in the game so i'm going to be playing this for sure mm-hmm. incredibly excited alex are you excited for any of these date updates um, that's a big not, fat no <laughs> not really. yeah no, no it's I, fine I any of these. i'll play bravely default when it comes out of, i want to try really know my heroes play. and yeah, bravely default is the only one that i'm interested because i want to play the first one horror warriors i will download the demo tonight and play it tomorrow i'll give you my impressions on twitter alex I had to take a sip of water. That's the news for the week. What was your favorite news stories? Leave it down in the comment below and give a 
thought on it. What did you think? Anything? Leave a comment below. Let's not forget Alex's favorite segment. What's cued? That's right. What's cued? This could be anything that's queued up for the weekend until we see your beautiful, beautiful face again, Achievers. This could be, of course, a video game, a talk show, a TV show, a movie, comic book, book, and or flotation device. Alex, what is queued up for the weekend? Hmm. Definitely more Watch Dogs. Um, great question. The great answer. All right, moving on. <laughs> Just... Well, I'm not done yet. I know, I know, I know. No, I'm definitely gonna play Watch Dogs. Um, I'm still watching Dexter. I went back to do a rewatch. Bam, 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 bam. Yeah, it's fun. Surprise, really... motherfucker! Remember that? Yep. Yeah. I literally started this maybe last week, and I'm almost done with the series. You're you're savage. <laughs> and there's actually something uh, like I want you to go watch. Uh huh. It's a trailer of a new movie that's coming out. That okay. Has to do with COVID. Should I watch it right now? Like as we're talking to the achievers. Hey, honestly, it's up to you. I haven't watched the trailer yet, but the wait. Oh, okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You say you want me to watch the trailer, but you haven't watched the trailer. How do you know I should watch it? Well, I I because I want to see. I want to know your your take on it but you haven't watched the trailer yet so how do you know what it even is because i was reading about it i didn't get to watch the extra trailer mm. it's, all i see is it's a michael bay movie and it is and it's a show, imagine it, uh, a four-year covid lockdown is this um oh god Songbird. thank you yeah 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 i i it was one of those it's on twitter thing but i'm yeah. i was like i'm not watching this yeah that's that's what i, I saw it on and i had to look it up because i was like what the hell is this and it is like apparently Michael Bay is making a movie that apparently COVID has run four years and it's like pretty much it's like it's it says COVID twenty three because it's the year twenty twenty three. That's fucking stupid. Uh, I'm gonna I'm going to play it right now, but muted. Oh Achiever, uh, no, nothing like that. I'll play it right now for the. Uh, I won't display it because we will be destroyed on youtube so i, w I won't do that to the achievers i, I don't want to mess up your guys' plan scheduling so i'm going to just play the trailer if you want to watch it with us you can just play it now and go ahead but i'm i'm just i'm just watching it and so this is a lockdown movie yeah so the movie is about uh the, the, it's been four years into the quarantine of covid and i honestly that's all i know from it <laughs> okay great and there's that much it just description. COVID-23 at record high. Okay. I mean, that's a lot of people that I know. All right. I guess this is... Okay. So it looks like it's a lot of lockdown stuff. Do we know the plot? Um, I Like I said, I, I haven't read anything. I, okay. just saw the, I saw the thing and I wanted to pique your interest and see if you're even interested. It seems like uh, trying to get people to watch it because it has the word COVID in it. Probably. And guess what? It's probably going to work. I just realized that's a movie. Where is it going to Is it going to be in a movie? Or is it going straight to video on demand? Um, good question. <laughs> it, comes out, it, comes, it comes out next year, so we'll see. I mean, AMC is getting... Okay, uh, okay next year it will be in theaters. If it's yeah, next it, year. It, no, yeah, it comes out 2021. Alex, we didn't cover it, but a lot of influencers, excluding us, which is pretty insane, got PS5 and Xbox Series X over the last few weeks. Man. Are you excited? Yes, I can't wait. I am too. Now, now I'm, I did reach out to Xbox and Sony individually to maybe figure out if ours got lost in the mail maybe maybe they've you know sent to the wrong address which is possible people make mistakes um they have yet to get back to me and it's been a mm, i don't know two three weeks and you know what they're busy <laughs> they're busy right right they have to be yeah they're bu they're busy they're it's in route i'm sure they wouldn't forget us they don't forget the achievers no no of course not right they, they, i mean at, at some point they we're we're coming we're coming we're coming knocking and we're gonna have to be like, we're gonna be like where is it where where is it phil huh phil what, what's going what's going on someone clip 
someone clip this out send it to <laughs> at x x oh god xbox p3 i think it's his twitter handle send it to him be like what what's what did they get I, again did it get lost in the mail it's just fine it's fine things yeah. these things happen i'm not upset I just, I just want to know what happened to the Xbox and the PS5s they were sent. Xbox, I'm more concerned about, if I'm being honest. But, you know, if I can get both, I can both. I'm going to do the meme of, uh, what is it? What's his name again? John Travolta? Yeah. In Pulp Fiction, looking back and forth. Yeah, that's yeah. Really yeah. Like, that's perfect. See, Alex, weird. that's perfect. Make that now. Post it on Instagram right now. Right as we're talking. Do that right now. Speaking of that, yeah, I, I, do, I definitely want to do that thing where it's like, it's, where's the... Where is it? Xbox? Mm -hmm. I say. Why did they forget about the Achievers? By the way, I'm joking, Achievers. We love you, and I'm sure Sony and PlayStation love us back. But we can only love you for so long. We have to be fleeting. We can't be with you for too long. So we do have to go, unfortunately. But we'll see you next time. If you liked us, remember, like, comment, subscribe down below. Leave a nice review. Five stars that help us tremendously. Remember, we're little itty bitty, so you got to help us grow. You can also, if you want to double growth, head over to patreon.com slash EGCHIEFERS and give us a buck. That gives you a bunch of tears, a bunch of little things that will help you even more. You can then DM us. Slide into our DMs. Leave a question, comment, concern, thought, and or idea. It will be covered on the show. Alex, thank you for joining me. Thank you for making the GIF and posting on Instagram and or Twitter. That is, of course, at Easy Achievers. And you should, of course, go follow us there. Because we're doing dynamite things like that John Travolta meme you've seen a million times. Doing the looking left, looking right, mm -hmm. and then looking left again and going, what the hell? Yep. And on that note, what you do every week... Remember...